today, actually. Yeah, witness this. Yeah. I'm Edmonds Okorode, and welcome to Midweek Bible Study. Hello, and I'm Agape Okorode. Wonderful today. Yeah. We're going to be studying God's Word, so get your Bibles out. Now, if you're scrolling and uh, you find us here, if you do not want to open your Bible, you just kindly scroll the video off. This is Bible Study. Welcome to Online Bible Study. And uh, I think this is our first online Bible study. Yes. For Many things are happening studio. online now. Many things are happening online. And thank God for preparing us for such time as this. Amen. We bless his name. All right. Uh, today, while we were sharing God's word today over the radio, God placed in our heart to start to share from our series, our book, uh, Jesus, get ready, Jesus is coming. So today we'll be looking at quality of the bride. Quality of the bride. So we'll be reading. I want you to get the amplified version. Amplified version. Otherwise you can, uh, otherwise I, I will it. get the I amplified version. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Too. So we're looking at the quality of the bride. And uh, in a moment we'll be praying and... Uh, Starting Matthew's Gospel, 25. chapter number 25, from verse 1, one. to 6. Yeah, so before we read, I will be, I will be praying. Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 25. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Day anew, every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, the steadfast love, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies, they never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Father, our hearts and our minds are ready to receive your engrafted word which is able to save our souls. Fill us today. Renew our mind. Renew our thinking. Change our lives. We receive revelation from your word by faith. Father, we pray for the audience that the joining us, we pray for all your people, your sheep, in love embassy of all nations. We pray for all our friends out there in our Facebook account. We pray for all those who are following Internet Church Amen. Facebook account. We bless your name, Father. We pray even as we had this Bible study this evening, that you will enlighten them the next few minutes. You will bless them with your word thank you father thank you father renew our mind Amen. change our lives change Amen. our levels yes. we receive revelation from your Amen. word by faith in jesus christ's name Amen. 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 welcome to the bible study god is good and you know in bible study the beautiful thing is it's just like praying it's a labor you search the scriptures you move to and fro it's not just a casual exhortation. We, we study the Word of God line by line, precept by precept. So welcome to Bible study. God bless you. Now, uh, honey, we are going to be having a wonderful yeah. time. Today we are discussing on quality of the bride. You've got to talk about this because it is your article. Yes. Okay? And, uh, I mean, it's your ball. Okay? You, you, you need to talk about this. See, God wants us to... Be a certain way. Mm. Uh, for example, as a young man, when I wanted to marry you, it is not a female I was looking for. Mm. Yeah. Female was a base requirement. 
but it was a type of female. I had done my search before, which was not successful. Mm. I had my experience. Yeah. Now, I allow the Lord to do the search for me, and his search was amazing. Now, how he prepared the woman I want to marry, mm. how he prepared her with all the things that's required. The qualities. Prepared her. Prepared her with provisions. Prepared her with uh, spiritual yeah, provisions. mainly, yes. Prepared her, her temperament. Prepared her Mindset. the kind of man you will yeah. go to marry. This is the kind of man you're going to marry. Now, I'm not to hear talking about marriage. Yeah, yeah. But I am speaking concerning Jesus Christ. There's a type it's and typified the of yes. Jesus and the church. So how will Jesus' bride be adorned? Jesus of Nazareth, mm -hmm. the Son of God. The church is his bride, the scripture says. How should his bride be adorned? Yes. How should his bride what, what, be prepared? What are the kind of qualities she should have? Yes. And what are the things that That's she serious. should really be? Yeah. It's serious. Now, for my bride, I was... <laughs> my bride, you know, they, 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 they talk about two-level security. Two-level security. Two-level security would be mostly mm. when you have an OTP mm. and as well as another level security. Could be your facial recognition. Or could be an email yeah. to as to ascertain that it is the owner that yes. is accessing it. My marriage had three level security check. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Now, now if I, who is not like the Son of God, as in, you know, the Son of God is is our we 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 are made like the Son of God. But I'm just trying to say here that. If I have this three level security to confirm the woman I'm going to be marrying, what about Jesus Christ? Yeah, the representation of uh, his bride, the church, the body of Christ. How many level security that will how be should there? They be? Yeah. <laughs> to to verify how they should be like. Yeah. How they should be like, yeah. how the church should be. So these are like. the things that uh, you know that time when we wrote this book about the a readiness. Yes. This was uh, written uh, somewhere around is 2000 there? and... Is there? Is there? 2007. Constantly I remember God revealing things about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, preparation and things like that. So I think this was our first mini book that we released. No, first this wasn't second, the first. This wasn't second, the first. I think, uh -huh. uh, the mini book. So that time it said God was revealing things and not knowing that it's been more than 10 years that now we are seeing the signs just right before our eyes Hallelujah. all over the world we are seeing. And now it's become a vital part of God's word that <laughs> we really need to bring an awareness to our people, yes. bring awareness to the saints. So uh, so the, the, those times God uh, revealed some things, the quality, uh, quality of the bride and mm. very interesting articles that I was going through mm. focusing on uh, our preparation, self readiness, mm. Mm. our first preparation of love, and uh, second We've got a bunch of, of articles. Submission. We've got a bunch of articles. Like that, you know, because there's a second series because this, preparing the bride. There's yeah, a second series. Yes. What I feel right now, even as I'm looking at this few, just few little, little pages, I just sense from my spirit, I perceive that that's how we are just in the last nth moment very very less time we have now every word that we speak now it's very very valuable very very valuable and i don't know it may be very small article or small discussion or just one hour a program 30 40 minutes but it really means something you know you might have done a lot of things studies on bible mm. from uh, genesis to revelation mm. and uh, and all that but now it's a time for us you know to literally get into the word get into the word you know one word can change our life forever so there is a precious word that is that is coming to us now from the spirit mm. concerning these things that we are going to be a witness mm. It's a very big thing. You know. Hallelujah. It's a very, very big thing that we are about to witness in, in our generation. Uh -huh. We're going to witness the coming of our Lord Jesus Serious Christ for His church. Serious peak of end so, time events. When we are in such kind of a thing, uh, a time, you know, and season, how really are we prepared? Are we ready to be received by Him? 
and that's the big question for the church i remember even sunday service this was the words that god put in my heart to talk to our audience and ask them are you really ready to receive mm. uh, to to be uh, the uh, that he would receive you are you prepared and i thank god that today you picked up on this uh, topic and yeah, uh, the morning we yeah, started it this quality of the bride so there is this parable that uh, puts light in us and that's Matthew chapter 25 yeah. from verse 1 to 6 I'll read in amplified version okay it says then the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom five of them were foolish thoughtless silly and mm. careless mm. and five were wise oh this is serious careless yeah careless does that sound like some yeah. christians today mm. yeah there are some christians today very careless that are careless they don't mind what's happening in their church yeah. they don't even know what's happening in their church but they belong to the church yeah they don't even know who they are following uh, so sense senseless silly thoughtless and careless careless and five were wise that is far sighted practical and sensible for when the foolish took their lands i like that practical yeah A lot of Christians want only spiritual aspect, especially my Pentecostal folks. I love them so much. Only spiritual. They want spiritual, spiritual. So now, they, they, they don't build for the Lord. They don't build schools. They don't build hospitals. Now we need a lot of hospitals. Mm, yeah. We only have church buildings. My Pentecostal folks, I love them so much. I was born there and raised there. But you see, practical. Mm. The wise virgins should be practical, practical. Mm. so uh, verse 3 for when the foolish took their lamps they did not take any extra oil with them obviously they won't they are careless they are they are not silly sensible silly and the wise took flask of oil along with their lamps now while the bridegroom was delayed they all began to nod off and they fell asleep mm. but at midnight there was a shout look Hallelujah. the bridegroom is coming at midnight yeah. they were not told yes that midnight is coming they were yeah. told it's the most quiet darkest hours the darkest hours of Le time kerebaya. so he said look the bridegroom is coming mm. go out to meet him mm. then all those virgins got up and put their own lamps in order mm. trimmed the wicks and added oil and lit them mm. but the foolish virgin said to the wise give us some oil some of your oil because our lamps are going out but the wise replied no otherwise there will not be enough for us and for you too go instead to dealers and buy oil for yourselves mm. but while they were going away to buy oil the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding feast and the door was shut and locked later others also came and said lord lord open the door for us mm. so uh now when you see this scripture here two things come to my mind when the bridegroom came he only took the ones that are ready yeah people think that god will understand their situation they place themselves in that position because they went out to the door they went out and they were ready the other ones were not ready because they don't have a lamp they can't even see it's dark for them yes and and this thing happens in the darkest of hours in yes. midnight yes so when you don't have a light in you you will not know what's happening yes. and that's what makes you casual careless silly and nonsensible exactly and yeah. and and it is very serious that uh, you you're watching the quality of the bride we're about to start the qualities one after the other as written in this article it's a very old book it's not in circulation presently so pay attention yeah in this parable of 10 virgins i see some interesting qualities of the bride that is the church mm. the first quality of the bride is that she is a virgin that means she has never known any other man before that uh, means she kept herself for her groom which means her heart is not run here and yeah. there virgin means the one who has yeah. is been kept yes yeah likewise the church must be holy in her heart kept from all filthiness mm. of this world mm. there is no other god or idol in her heart Hallelujah. she serves the Now, lord jesus when we talk about only. idol we need to really yes. We're into Focus really yeah we, we we need to really um and not just qualify. talking talking about idolatry or worship idols image we are talking about something that we represent uh, prefer 
what what is first in your what comes yes. first what's your order of could preference be a fashion yeah order of preference it's to be education yeah. to be power what, money finances what you give importance yes. to do you give importance to your security right now could even be you children give importance to your family uh, give importance to you know giving importance is fine but giving importance more than god is the problem and that's what makes it idolatry because yes. that becomes your idol because that will be your focus yes and not god yes. so god must be the first thing he Alleluia. must be the prime focus Alleluia. and rest follows because they seek for the kingdom of god Amen. and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you Amen. that's the order of the so kingdom so when we talk about the heart that is kept yeah. that do not have idolatry we're talking about the heart that is focused on the things so of god so it means the heart is not going here and there here yes. and there a virgin's heart means is kept A Christian right now, a Christian right now thinks that he is a he or she is a virgin, mm. but they are not. Yeah. How can they know that they are not? Now, listen very well. If your heart, the Lord said, if your eye be single, you will have light. Yes. You yeah. have light yes. in your body. Now your yes, mm. you got to have a single eye. Single In other words, minded, focused, focused mindset. When you move here and there and here and there, you are not stable. Yeah. When you are not stable you think that you I'm very fine but you are not fine. Mm. And he is coming for a blameless spotless church. Church. Yeah. So I'll continue. So there is no other god or idol in her heart. She serves the Lord Jesus only. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says no man can serve two masters. Yes. So this is the thing we're just saying yeah. you've got to be focused. You can serve two masters. For example, people want to obey God and they want to obey the traditions. Mm. They want to obey God and they want to obey what the, 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 I, I have to say this. For example, let's look at the choices of marriage. Mm. Okay? They want a godly man, but they want what their family wants. Yes. Also at the what same their desires time. want. Uh, uh-huh. Triple now. <laughs> three God, three masters. Yes. Family, mind, desire. You can say desires, uh, your mind, uh, and your heart. Yes. You want to prefer what your heart says, uh, in the name of being spiritual. You also want to prefer what your mind is saying, uh, in the in the name of logical reasonings. Yes, yes. And also, you want to prefer your desires, yes. in the name of feelings. Yes. So this so is a problem. So you mix up all the things. It's a big problem because when uh, when if if this exists like this, my biggest concern as a pastor. is that this is not a virgin yes that is not a virgin <laughs> that's my concern this is not a virgin but many people think virgin means a, a girl who is not touched mm. no this is depictive yes this is depictive yeah so uh, the next quality so the second secondly she took her lamp that is her spirit Hallelujah. That is burning because we are, are we are the light. Hallelujah. We are the our heart spirit is the candle of the Lord. Hallelujah. He uses that candle to search the deep things. Means Hallelujah. Many uh, deeper things will be revealed to us. So uh even the coming of the Lord, the time, the sensitivity and your place everything mm. is deeper things yes. that will be revealed when you have that light in your spirit. Yes. but when you don't have the light you cannot know so i will continue so she secondly she took a lamp that is her spirit that is burning yes. that's the lamp the state of her spirit is always lighted up because jesus said we are the light of this world hallelujah and the bible also says our spirit is the candle of lord proverbs hallelujah. 20 verse 27 thirdly she has the oil that keeps her thirdly she has the oil that keeps her hallelujah. spirit alert so it is the oil that makes a spirit keep burning uh because the oil is the anointed of word presence, of god yes hallelujah oil is the anointed word because the word of Which god also is what depictive of his presence yes manifested yes. presence so the a word of god is uh, uh the the word of god is the thing that really uh, gives us the direction mm. shows us gives us information mm. is really a person is is more than words let us but he is the person amen. he is coming and amen. we know him where you are going to amen so, honey i want to say something yeah. that please don't know to where you are going to continue now listen you have a question during this bible study time put it now we can see it right here on our screen put the question and we're going to answer you have a doubt put it and we're going to answer that 
Yes. Yeah. The so the importance of the word of God. The word is what makes us alert. The word is what makes us spiritual mindedness. The word gives us that spiritual sensitivity. Yes. Sensibility. Yes. So that is how we will know because the word has revealed everything to us. We are not kept in the dark. Hallelujah. God's word reveals everything. He revealed the times, the seasons, mm. and the prophecies and everything. And also, the most importantly, the word of the focus of the word of God is that the word is the person of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And what are we becoming to? What are we growing to? What church is coming for? Is into his image. Into his image, the fullness of stature Christ. of Christ. So how will you come when you don't look into a mirror? How can you know to what level you have grown? So until you don't look into the word, how can you know you have come to the fullness stature of Christ? Nothing. If you, doesn't, if you do not know the man you want to marry, uh, how can you marry him? So likewise, you must know Christ for you to become him, like yes. him. Yes. The biggest problem I face as a pastor yeah. are sheep that do not know the spiritual syllabus. In the sense, they think uh, some believer in their neighborhood is the comparing factor mm. or some or their sister-in-law mm. or their brother-in-law or somebody yeah jesus christ is the syllabus yes. is the containment is the is what we example, have to look into yeah is who we become yes and uh, some people think that we can never become like christ honey yeah. Uh, when he comes, he will make us like that's, him. That's that's a belief that robs you of your identity, for sure. Because when you believe, I'm not perfect. I cannot be like him. He is God. He is Jesus. We can't become like you. Have robbed yourself of your identity. So how can you reach out to that place? How can you get to that? And how can you have that kind of understanding? How can he even communicate to you in those terms of who he is raising you to become like? Mm. It's not possible. It is not. So We've got to accept what he's given to us. Mm. Wherever you're listening from right now or watching from, our Blessed Tan radio audience and those who are watching through Facebook and those who are going to be watching uh, through our YouTube channel, I just want, this, I want to say this to you. Listen and listen well. Any teaching that doesn't point Christ as your mm. personality, as your image, that places Christ in a strength term where he is not reachable, hmm. where he is only your savior, you cannot be like him. I am trying to be polite. It is from hell. Yeah. It is because it comes to steal. It's come to steal. It steals your it's identity. It's from hell. Any teaching that puts you under, hmm. not in the image of Christ. The scripture said to you, we all come. I'll just read that. Yeah. Ephesians 4. I read it in the uh, ASV, Ephesians chapter number four. I'm reading verse number thirteen. Okay, verse number thirteen. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, and the scripture says, "Till we all attain." Mm. I'm reading ASV. Mm. Till we all attain unto the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of mm. God, and unto a full grown man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm. ASV. Yeah. Major of the, and they say that we be no longer children mm. tossed to and fro, mm. carried about by every wind of doctrine, yeah. by slight of men and the craftiness and after the wiles of error. Now, now here it says, till we come to attain to the personality. One of the sweetest things that I've experienced in Christ is to discover that he called me to be exactly like his son, Jesus Christ. It is awesome. Yeah. It spells awesome. Mm -hmm. To be exactly like Christ. Who would have told me that? You cannot be. You try. They will say something. You cannot be. But the scripture tells us, till we are come, attain to that. And also in the book of Galatians, one of the most amazing new creation revelation, he says in Galatians 4.19, My little children of whom I travel in bed pangs again, until mm. Christ be formed in you. Christ in you. Yeah. Christ be formed okay. in you. And then he talks about Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amazing verses describing and showing us who we should be. Like. What we should be. Mm. Not believe. Mm. 
believe is entrance b become be b of god dear yeah. children honey yeah. oh it's amazing <laughs> that's so ephesians 5 1 be ye imitators, imitators of, of god, god as his dear children you cannot tell a snake to imitate me mm. it will not work but you can tell someone my child to imitate me is possible be ye imitators of god be ye imitators of god we don't have much time to waste now yes. looking for something and doing something you're wasting your precious time oh boy come on bro, honey okay so this is the importance of word and as you read this scripture also we see here that it brings us to the full knowledge of god's Hallelujah. son and knowledge of god's son is the word of god yes. that word of god is what brings you to the yes. knowledge of the yes. son of god that's when you can come to that adulthood yes uh, that maturity of the stature of Hallelujah. the so fullness of Christ comes by that by the word. So the word of God reveals the things to come because God's will is that His children sh know all things before time. Now, uh, fourthly, uh, she is wise because the word is her foundation. Amazing. Yeah. How many? So here we talk about wise virgin and foolish virgin. Yes. We have now known what is who is a virgin. Yes. And we have now we have known. Uh, uh, what is the oil, uh, the lamp, and we know the interpretation of oh, what uh, uh, the anointing, the yes. oil represents the word yes. of God. Yes. Now we are looking at who is a wise virgin and who is the foolish virgin. Yes. Yes. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24, mm. it shows mm. who a wise man is. Mm. A wise man is the one who hears the word, understands it and does the word and she builds herself upon the rock. Amazing. He didn't say the wise one is the one who knows it. Yeah. He said the one who hears, understands, and does it. It's a three in one. Hear, understand, do it. Yes. So I, I don't understand Christians who are, are always looking for a, a deeper revelation of what they already understand. Mm. If there's a deeper revelation, the Holy Spirit will give it to you. Why are you bothering yourself? If there's a deeper revelation, the Holy Spirit will mm. give it to you. What you already understand, do it. Yeah. That's how to be a wise Christian. Yes. That's how to prepare yourself as the bride of Christ. The bride of Christ is not prayer. Prayer yes. will not prepare you. Prayer is important. Mm. But it will not prepare you like you build on the word. Yes. yes honey. So in Matthew chapter 7, we observe two foundations upon which exactly. the Christian builds. So the one foundation is the rock. Foolish. The rock. One is foolish, one, one is, is wise. Foolish. The rock. And the one who builds on the rock. So here in verse 24 it says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine mm. and obeys them is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. Yes. And everyone who hears the words of mine and does not obey them mm. is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. That's verse 26. Mm. Now I go back to verse 25. It mm. says, the rain fell, the floods came and the winds blew mm. and beat against that house. Mm. But it did not collapse because its foundation was on the rock. Yes. Likewise, the other foundation that was on the sand, mm. when the rains came, the mm. flood came mm. and the winds blew mm. and battered that house mm. and it collapsed and, it, and its collapse was devastating. So here we see the who is a wise virgin mm. and who is the foolish virgin. So mm. the wise man and the foolish man. Mm. So in this we know that how we must build our faith upon God's word Hallelujah. and stand on God's word Hallelujah. and build our life upon it, Amen. not build a ministry on it. Not build a settlement on Everything. it. Not build a miracle on it. Everything. These are very sensible things. Because many Christians focus on something that they need. And they are building the needs. Are you building yourself is a question. Because that's what makes you a wise man. Yes. Or a wise woman. Yes. So you must build your life on the rock. Means every decision you make. Everything you do. Your confession. Your action. Hallelujah. Everything. You must... The word of God is your foundation, meaning that's your conviction yes. in your heart. Yes. So anything you do in your life will be based on your conviction. Hallelujah. And that's how we build the house. Yes. It's not just building something and telling, do you know God did a wonderful miracle in my life and testimonies upon testimonies, but the fruit of your life is something else. Miracles cannot transform your life. No, miracles will never miracles transform Miracles are just the sign. People. Yes, God does miracles. It's a sign to show who the Lord is. Yeah, point you to who God the is. one. But it doesn't mean we build, we build upon those things. So we, we don't build upon 
things that cannot st- last longer we build upon the c- convicted word of god hallelujah what is your conviction where is your stand how are you standing how where you standing now it's time for you to make that decision Amen. now it's time for you to change your heart now it's time for you to conclude upon your convictions mm. what you're going to stand upon yes. look at the situation we are right now oh, in the world mashallah. the wind is blowing the floods are coming when you are not built on the rock it will blow you off that is it you have to be built on the rock because you have to believe the word yeah. you say that you be you are christian if you on. don't have a conviction if you are not strong enough in the challenges that comes to you you cannot stand as scripture said it you will fall down are re poshe and this is individual choice is not what your pastor can do <laughs> or what your leader can do it's not about them it's about you alone you and the lord pastors exist in the church to prepare us for such a time as this yeah. listen to this prophecy your past the pastor sent into your life was sent into your life to give you the necessary ingredient for such time as this now you cannot even reach to your pastor your pastor cannot even reach to you many shepherds are crying in their hearts they cannot even go many sheep sheep in the sense believers mm. many sheep are there some are just sick we need to visit them we're not able to visit them some some need our condition we are not able to go why for such time as this i have placed my apostles yeah prophets pastors teachers and evangelists to prepare you for such time as this is the voice of god and if you are not prepared either you are on the growth you are a growing believer or you are exhibiting on teachable spirit you wasted a lot of time and when you waste a lot of time like that it's very difficult to catch up now but the grace of god can mm. still change the story if you pay attention now because the wind already starts to blow i see i see now that god is moving amazing ways even in such times the situation can get even worse but have hope in the lord he's doing amazing things the spirit of god is moving wonderfully what i mean is beginning from you individually from us right in within your heart the holy spirit is speaking to you convicting you of certain things that you need to make change convicting you of things that you should stay on you should stand upon convicting you to be that way and become a certain way he is doing that so strongly these days pay attention to it amen that's where our last point comes also the last interpretation of this parable we need to really be sensitive we need to be sensitive to the voice of the holy spirit Amen. because now he is preparing you your self preparation readiness is very very vital is very important for such a time you know so uh, can i continue please so lastly first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6 he says therefore let us not fall asleep like others do but let us stay awake and be sober for people who go to sleep go to sleep at night and people who get drunk get drunk at night but since we belong to the day let us be sober we must put on the breastplate of faith and love and the hope of salvation as a helmet man okay so uh, in this verse we see that because uh, the parable says that uh, the foolish virgins went off to sleep yes here it says that when she never sleeps off in her spirit her spirit is always alert Alleluia. and she is ready for the bridegroom to come she what about those christians that are not sensitive at this time they are thinking china is the problem uh no america is the problem no 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 india is the problem in such time when we talk about sensitivity or alertness when the scripture talks the about the mind of god we can be carried away we can be carried away by uh things like this when we are not we sensitive we have to be sensitive and know for such a time what should we do as christian what should we do we must know that and we should find ourselves busy doing that not becoming busy bodies of doing something else ah. or making the whole thing a gossip yes. or just talking about it or just making a new sense about things that are going around but we must do something and so it's so important for us to be saviors don't look for the answer or blame some people save yourself save 
the good saving hallelujah <laughs> yeah so uh, so this alertness is so important it important it shows that how ready she is for the bridegroom that's coming she is not weary she don't get, she doesn't get tired of the situation mm. she is not in full of fear but mm. she is in full of patience mm. doing the will of hallelujah God. she knows when the groom is coming because yes. she knows the season mm. she discerns the season mm. and she is waiting hallelujah amazing when we wait yes we don't wait waiting is not wasting time no we are engaged hope. when we wait it's our hope of salvation amen we when we wait we don't waste time people don't think what so, uh jesus they said jesus is going to come so many years have come and gone jesus is going to come and then uh, pastor are you sure he's just going to come this time <laughs> you've got to be ready nobody knows the time no the hour he said like a thief in the night yeah but you know the season the trump yes you, you would know, you the, know season. the season the trump the trumpet shall sound mm. and the dead in christ shall be raised first they will Alleluia. rise first Alleluia. to meet the lord Amen. in the air first Thessalonians 4 and we who are alive will be caught and up remain will be yeah. caught up with him many people have the notion that the Lord Jesus is going to appear and then just arrive in Jerusalem. In the blink of an eye. And some people think you arrive in Jerusalem and then we'll meet him in Jerusalem mm. or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. The scripture tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter number 4 verse 16, it's talking about the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we, we, we witness resurrection, you know. Uh, the way you mention the scripture says in the blink of an eye, so we will not be even be able to hear the news. Not even realize. We cannot even happening. hear the news. All the realization is now that you need to realize. Be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. What about people who feel like they are sinners, they are not prepared, and uh, they feel so down about themselves, honey? What word do you have for them tonight? The time is not too late. This is your hour, this is your moment. In this moment, it is time for you to realize things. I told you, make a decision of what's your conviction, what do you believe. Now it's time for us to align those things right, put it right, and to believe. So this is an opportunity for you to believe that Jesus, the Son of God, was sent for you, for us. to He took away all the sin and burden of this world. Uh, that is laid upon you individually, whoever you are. If you think condemned or you think you feel judged about yourself, he is there to take it away because he's already taken it away. So I bring that awareness to you that what he has done, you don't need to be blaming yourself yourself for it. But you just believe that he has taken it and you receive him in your heart. So he takes your place, you take his place. Amen. And it is and it is over, it is Amen. finished. You don't need to live in that condemnation. You don't need Need to live in that judgment so that's that's your answer so you are no more a sinner you are free you are the righteous you have the righteousness of God you are just like him amen. and that's the starting stage of us growing to his fullness fullness amen amen, amen. so quit the mindset of being defeated by your sins he already mm. took it upon himself if you are sick in your body as you pay attention to the Word of God the Word of God will prevail. It will rise and it will prevail. I remember when you got healed of cancer. Mm. The Word of God prevailed. Yes, it was the Word. The Word of God prevailed. So as you're listening, the Word of God will prevail over those symptoms of sickness and mm. disease. And you walk free in any moment from now. You just walk free completely from that sickness and disease. Now, uh, you are having difficulty financially, the same thing. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God is our provider. Uh, see, is our provider, is the all-sufficient one, El Shaddai, you see. And uh, for those uh, colleagues of mine who are genuine, not those who are running in the internet like miscreants, like religious miscreants, Okay, who are genuine, walking with the Lord, not those taking advantage. Mm. You know, the people just wear masks. They take advantage of the situation now and they do fraud with the situation. COVID-19 fraud stars, you know. Those who are genuine, seeking the face of God, I can tell you 
boasting mm. in the grace of God, God will keep you. He will send yes. help to you from nowhere. Don't blame anybody that they, they don't care or whatever that may be. God will send help to you. You will not be stranded. He would use an unbeliever to even survive you. Mm. He'll keep you, so don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in His grace to sustain Amen. you, and He will sustain you. In a moment, we'll be praying, but before we do, I want you to acknowledge those faithfully who are, who Would are, you? yes, and those few ones who sent uh, greetings. Just acknowledge them before we pray right now. Acknowledge them before we pray right yeah. now. Here I have Sister Premela John is watching with us. Okay. Sister, um, Welcome, Sister Premela John. Hello, and how are you? And how is your pretty baby? Mm. <laughs> Pastor Hava is with us. Okay, welcome, uh, Pastor Nalini, Hava. Nalini is watching with Hello, us. Hello, Nalini. God Nancy bless you. Nancy is watching with us. Nancy, Raj welcome. Lakshmi is watching with us. And Sister Glory Raj. Arup is Welcome. Uh, okay. Uh, Gloria Roop, welcome to the program and God bless you. Now, we're about to pray f this short Bible study. Preparing the bride is so, so important. The mm -hmm. next series, which we're, this is the quality of the bride. Yeah. The bride has to be sensitive. The bride has to build on the word of God. The bride has to have a burning spirit. The bride has to be kept. The bride of Christ has to have these qualities and is so necessary, so important. Can we pray? Yeah. Father, we pray for everyone who is under the influence of your words right now. We ask whatever their needs might be, whatever their questions might be, whatever it might be that they are going through, mm -hmm. we speak forth your provision in the face of this situation that is questioning the church we speak for your provision father in the name of jesus christ thank you father for your presence thank you lord Amen. whatever situation they are going through we thank you because you've made us more than conquerors Amen. through him who loved us and in all these things we cannot be stopped thank you father thank you father thank you lord Thank you, Lord. Your bride, your bride, we speak, they walk in this light of this exhortation, this Bible study tonight. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Now, we believe very well that the Lord is put into you very important points tonight. You go through it again. The bride is kept. The bride has a burning lamp. The bride has is her anointing oil. The bride is kept. The bride builds on the word of God. The bride is prepared and waiting, hoping for the return of Jesus Christ. Anytime the Lord Jesus Christ will come and those who are ready and looking at for his appearing will be caught up with him in the air. Mm -hmm. Our details are right there on the screen, how you can contact us concerning the kingdom of God, concerning Jesus Christ, concerning our church. Temporarily, as you all know, the church services, physical services are temporarily suspended yeah. until further notice based on what's happening in the world. Now, we know that we have hope. And you can spread that hope in your neighborhood. You can spread that hope in your office, wherever you are. You can spread that hope. We are coming out strong. And I can remind you the vision God showed me of a little child sent out by the mother. And when the child was sent out, there were so many destructions out there. And the, the I, I, love, I love it. She prepared him. All the necessary things she gave to him yeah. and sent him out. And he went in the midst of those dangers. Like David said, do I walk through the valley and the shadow of death? I, I fear will no fear evil. no evil. Like David said, the child went out and came back. Untouched, undisturbed, without compromise, the child went and came back. And it's amazing. 
I bless the name of the Lord because we all are going to go through this, especially those who be around the rock. Yeah, and come out of. We're going to come out victorious, if not checking out from here yeah. before it even goes for the whatever it is. So God is good and we're just enjoying the presence of God. And every evening I am on TAN Radio. That's the logo you can see around, right there, TAN Radio, www.tanradio.net. Every evening, 8 to 8.45, where they're just fellowshipping, not Bible study. And 26 and 27, one of our friends will be yeah. teaching over the radio. Okay. Just yeah, yeah, over the radio, Pastor Johnson. So you make it, and he teaches in Tamil. And he said his son-in-law will interpret for him in English. English. Yes. So you, you, you don't miss that. He will be live on the air and amazing. And amazing during this lockdown we're just having this evening fellowship and mm. it's, it's so nice it's so nice we have a kind of a faith redo that we yes. used to open the program for a couple of days we've not been able to do it because in my heart i felt we should spend praying. time praying and seeking the face of god so this evening i'll be there 15 minutes and whatever the spirit of the lord wants us to do we'll do and then we'll go into prayer as well we are a blessing to our nation, we're a blessing to the neighborhood, and we cannot cease at this point. Mm. We can only be a blessing to the neighborhood. Someone needs your help and your care there, look out for them. A family needs your help, needs your care, look out for them. The details are on the screen, you can use it for your offerings or whatever you want to communicate with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, uh, Anya, am I leaving anything out, this Bible mm. study? If you have any questions concerning the coming of the Lord, the end times and all, I know many of them have questions, inquisitive about knowing certain things, there may be confusion, doubt or something, whatsoever, send us your questions and in our next Bible study, we would answer them. And yes, we will answer it and, and you will, we will give you scripture, uh, revelation or explanation to whatever question that you you tend to send to us and you want to know the answer. For now, we will say thank you for joining the Bible study tonight and we will meet you soon on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, on Sunday, we'll, we'll be here live. We will be here ministering to you and sharing God's word with you. We want to thank you for joining us in this Bible study. And God bless you. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. Satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth. And He faced the things that we're facing, passed through the difficulties that we passed through, and was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was a sinless. The seed of God's word became flesh. And he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website.
nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human Welcome to Love Embassy of All Nations, a Bible church and a leadership training center, by Edmunds Okwara Day Ministries, EOM. We have seen many lives transformed. You are next for transformation. Our it's church is made up of various the ministries, state of Israel, electronic and, and print media, church Israel. services, live Bible training sessions and also through our website. Humanitarian outreach, helping the widows, widowers, aged and the needy, anti-suicide and success campaign. The annual Love Feast, World Changers Day and Vision Day. To get more information please refer to our brochure, or log into our website www.loveembassy.in, or www.okorodei.org. These are our monthly activities, Sunday morning worship service starts at 7.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. respectively, Wednesday Bible study starts at 6 p.m. Every first Sunday is our healing service, one combined service. Every Saturday at 3 p.m. is a general prayer, healing and deliverance service, where we have the prayer line. 11 a.m. every second Saturday is our baptismal class. Every last Friday is our school of prayer, where we come to learn, pray and intercede. Three hours experience of real biblical prayer. And usually there will not be PhD on the following day which is Saturday. You can watch anytime and from anywhere our TV programs, free monthly DVDs, Teach All Nations TV report, short movies and... <laughs> and more on the internet by subscribing to our YouTube channel Teach All Nations. Love Embassy of All Nations, ministering God's love in a hurting world.